Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. <clears throat> I'm walking into 1570 Oak, number 601. This is a big two-bedroom, two-bath on the sixth floor. And the first thing we notice is that it's occupied and that it's carpeted. We're looking, as I walk in the door, we're looking through the living room into the bedroom suite. There's also a large living room closet slightly to the left. And if I go far to the left, we see the second bedroom and bath behind the closed door. So I'll start by walking into the living room. It's a nice sized living room. Again, we see that it's occupied. The windows are facing east. I think this room is about 16 feet long by about 12 and a half or 13 feet wide. The carpet is on concrete, so it's absolutely silent in the apartment, very quiet. Again, if we go straight from the front door, we see the bedroom suite, which we will go to next. But before we do, we'll take a look at the big living room closet, which is easily five feet across. There are shelves on the left side Hook straight across the middle, shelves on the right, and a hanging bar on the right. It also has its own light fixture, so it's a very big closet. I'll walk towards the uh, windows in the living room. Again, they're facing east, and you'd be looking out on Oak, just south of Davis. If I turn to my right, we see the dining area, which is about 8 by 10. The dining area has a ceiling fan, easily big enough for a four-person table or a big workstation, quite easy to use. As I walk into the, first I'll show you out the window again. As I walk into the dining area, we see the stuff, oh, she just ran out of the kitchen. Um, but we see lots of cabinet space, countertop, stainless steel sink, Storage underneath, good cabinet space underneath. We have a new floor, full-size stove, and a full-size fridge. We also have a, a, a hood, stove hood, which has a fan, a filter, and a light. So it's really a nice kitchen with full-size appliances and a lot of cabinet space. And again, a stainless steel sink. One more look at the cabinets. Now we are interrupting lunch, so I don't want to go further with the kitchen, but I do want to show you the rest of the apartment. So we'll walk out of the dining area and into the bedroom suite. Now there's a door here that separates the bedroom and the bathroom in a linen closet. So here's the door that actually has a lock. And then the bedroom has its own door. The bedroom is a nice big space, easily big enough for a queen size bed. I think it's probably about 12 or more feet uh, long from here to the window and about 10 and a half feet or so wide. This window is facing north, whoops, which sort of looks out over downtown Evanston. If I turn around, you will see a big bedroom closet. So I'll just take a quick look at that. And you see it's a, I'd say it's probably about three feet deep and three or more feet wide, a little more than three feet wide. You see the hanging bar. There's also a couple of shelves in the bottom, but it's very deep. So you can put quite a bit of stuff here. And there's the second hanging bar up and on top. Very nice bedroom closet. So, we'll come out of the bedroom. Directly in front of the bedroom is a linen closet. So that also, there we go, there it comes into focus. That's quite deep. It's at least two feet deep. Has a number of shelves. And it's probably about two feet across as well. Next to the linen closet is the first bath. Uh, we have the standard tile floors, nice sink, 
uh, storage under the sink, standard vintage commode. Here we're facing west out the back of the building. The tile is really newer and pretty nice in the, uh, in the shower bath area. Whoops, I'm moving too fast. The tub needs a little bit of cleaning, but it, again, it's an occupied apartment. Nice shower head. I'm just going to turn on the hot water real quick so you can see that we have good water pressure. And we do. I don't want to turn on the uh, shower because uh, we are sort of interrupting. But you can see she's got a great shower head. The shower head's probably a little less than six feet. Whoops, sorry about that. So you can see it drains nicely. A little less than six feet, so if you're over 6'4", you might have trouble. Anyway, that's the first bedroom suite. And as we come out, we come back out into the living room. And we can see the dining area and the living room. One more look at the bedroom, which is a nice size bedroom. And then we'll go back past the living room closet towards the front door. And we have this little entry area here. And we'll go into the second bedroom, which is also a very big room. This might even be a little bigger. This is easily 13 feet long and uh, 11 feet across. So it might be a little bit bigger. This I think is a full size bed, but you can see how much additional space there is. So both bedrooms are very big. This uh, unit has, or this bedroom has two closets. This is the first one with two shelves and a hanging bar. And it is at least six feet long. And again, close to two feet wide. So it's deep and it's long. Really a nice bedroom closet, which would be great. But there is a second bedroom closet. And this is also, it's got a hanging bar on that side. This is probably not quite as deep. This is probably more like 15 inches deep. And a hanging bar and shelf on this side. But this is probably more like seven or eight feet wide. So another big closet. And you can see she stored some stuff in there. The window here is facing north again. And if I turn this way, you get another perspective on how big the apartment or the bedroom is. So the last thing we have is the second bath. Now this, I call it a bath, but it's really just got a shower. So you see the standard commode, the sink, the window again is facing in the back. And the shower needs to be cleaned a little, but it's occupied again. We have a lower shower head. This is probably about five feet eight. And what do we got here for hot? This is the hot water here. And from here, let me see, is very good water pressure. And it's draining deep. So I'll shut that down. And the sink. So Daisy also has good water pressure. You see terrific water pressure there. And lastly, we have a little medicine cabinet next to an outlet. This window is facing west. So there's lots of windows, and it's important to have good windows in the bath so you can air out after you use the uh, shower or the the tub, whatever you use. We look through the bedroom one last time, two big closets. Whoops, forgot to close the door. It has its own shower. And as we exit the second bedroom, we are back at the front door. Thank you for watching.